Welcome back girls. In the previous class we have seen types of sentences and in this class we will be going to see what is affirmative and negative sentences. So let's begin our class. Affirmative sentence gives positive information and negative sentence give negative information. You can compare the affirmative sentence and negative sentence. In affirmative sentence, it is the first one is this is fall and the second I am unable to find it anyway. And in negative sentence, it contains word such as no, not, nothing, none and never. So example you can see this is not true. I can't find it anyway. So few more sentences we will just see. First A. I could not complete the work. B. I failed to complete the work. Second A. There is no sense in what you say. Second B. There is hardly any sense in what you say. And third one is a he say he said he wouldn't go and b is he refused to go so you can see the difference in a and b sentences so you will observe that these sentence mark a and b convey the convey the same meaning but in all sentences marked a there are negative words negative words means no not wouldn't Whereas the one mark B do not have them. Negative words are those that convey a negative meaning. For example, never, no, neither, nor, not, cannot, don't, isn't, nothing, etc. If a sentence contain negative word, it is a negative sentence and if a sentence does not contain any negative word it is called affirmative sentence just we will see this sentences first one is we must avoid hurting other others that is affirmative sentence second he didn't offer me any help didn't means negative so obviously it is negative sentence Third, never give up hopes. Again, negative sentence. Fourth one is, you must keep away from bad company. Again, affirmative sentence. And fifth one is, there is nothing in the bag. Again, negative sentence. Sixth one is, ent entry is prohibited without permission. So, it is affirmative sentence. So, while interchanging negative and affirmative sentence, the meaning and tense must not change. Children understood the meaning of the sentence and tense must not change. You must use negative words in the sentence while transforming from affirmative to negative. You may use words like hardly, fail to, refuse, reject, avoid, prohibit, without, ban, etc. while changing negative sentences to affirmative. Children, these all topics you have to write in your grammar copy. Now we will see to one more the last topic that is degree of comparison of adjectives. Page number 11. Children, first of all, we will see what is adjective. Hmm? Children, everybody you know what last year we have learned parts of speech. So, this is adjectives is a fourth part of speech. Okay. So, what is adjectives, children? Words that describe noun and pronoun in a sentence. So, children, everybody you know what is noun. A noun is a naming word. It is the name of a person, an animal, a thing, an idea or a 
process okay example revti king cattle village leaf etc all these are noun and what is pronoun a pronoun is a word that is used in place of a noun example i me he she her they ourself etc so now we'll see the three the three degrees of comparison you can see in the picture an apple okay the different size of apple apples are there so the first one is positive that is big then comparative when we are talking about two bigger and superlative when we are talking about three or more than three few more sentences we will see we will just see what is adjectives they live in a beautiful house house is a noun and beautiful is an adjective lisa is wearing a sleeveless shirt today she wore a beautiful dress he writes meaningless letters and the last one is ben is an adorable baby so all the red words are the adjectives of the noun now you can see what is three pictures in again one boy standing then two then three and more so you by this picture you can understood what is positive comparative and superlative degree so first we will see what is positive degree we use the positive degree when we speak about one person or thing okay understood children when we are talking about one person or thing so examples are given there, there lisa is a beautiful as fit tree linton james is tall umran is a smart as muri okay so when we are talking about one now comparative when we are comparing the two or more two things or two person we use the comparative degree when we compare two persons or two things with each other your mill is taller than lebron james this house is bigger than that one okay comparison of two she is nicer than him and the third one is superlative degree we use a superlative degree when we compare more than two persons or things with one another it is the highest degree of the quality example peter is a smartest boy in class Alice is the sweetest girl in the neighborhood. So Alice is the sweetest girl in the neighborhood, and the blue whale is the largest of all animals. Now, few more examples we will see. Yatin is strong. Second, Amit is stronger than Yatin. Okay, that is the first one is positive. The second one is. comparative and the third pravin is the strongest of all that is superlative okay so positive sentence in sentence 2 the adjective stronger refer to the higher degree when there is a comparison of two nouns it is called comparative degree that is er is added to the basic adjectives and in sentence 3 the adjective strongest refer to the highest degree of comparison of one with more than two nouns it is superlative degree that is est is added to the basic adjective so children these all things you have to write in your grammar copy now we'll see the table you have to copy this table in your grammar copy so you can just find the degrees of comparison that is positive comparative and superlative these all the things you have to write in your grammar copy i hope that you have understood this two topics and again i'll be sending you the pdf you have to do write everything in your english copy and english grammar copy thank you